CTA would like to see Guardian Angels boarding CTA buses soon. Charlie Wojciechowski reports that represents a different attitude toward the Citizen Patrol group. Michael Fuentes and his Guardian Angel Patrol are riding the Howard Street L this afternoon. With two to four members per car, the Angels say they do what police can't afford to do. Fill the CTA trains with uniformed crime fighters. Um, the visible crime deterrent, the rubber the t-shirt, guard angel knowing that there's somebody there. If somebody does commit a crime, he won't hesitate to make a citizen's arrest. Fuentes and the Chicago Angels branch have concentrated their efforts on trains because transferring from bus to bus is too expensive. The Angels pay their own way. But if new CTA president Robert Belcaster has his way, the Angels could soon board buses with free passes. We've been doing the train successfully for the last 10 years, so the buses should be a piece of cake. But what do riders think? Fortunately, I never saw any trouble on the train recently where I had to see any of them do what they have to do. But at least they have the radio. I've seen them on quite some time, you know. They seem to be very effective. So you feel safer when you see them riding? Yeah, I think so. In the past, the Chicago police, who maintain a transit detail, have discouraged increased angel patrols. But today, the department had no comment on the plan. Right now, the Guardian Angels have about seven full-time members and about 100 part-time members. If they're going to expand their service to bus lines, they're going to need more people. That's why every ride is a recruitment drive. On the CTA, I'm Charlie Wojciechowski, Channel 5 News.